Hi folks, this is Chef Kevin. Tonight I'm making one of my favorite meals. Dutch oven roasted chicken. And not only is it super delicious, but it's pretty easy to make. Let's take a look at the ingredients here. First, let me explain to you the Dutch oven, also known as a cocotte. A Dutch oven basically is a cast iron pot with a tight fitting lid and the lid keeps all the the juices in the, the flavor within the pot. This is a stout number 24 so it is three and a half quarts capacity. This has the non-stick coating. A Dutch oven doesn't necessarily have to have a non-stick coating as long as it's cast iron with a lid it's a Dutch oven. Okay moving right along I have a high quality Purdue chicken 100% vegetarian fed no animal byproducts cage free no hormones or steroids and it's a good quality you should always Always have always start with a good quality product. You pay a little bit more money for it, but it's worth it. Okay, the other ingredients: a yellow onion, garlic. I have a collection of fresh herbs here, organic herbs, oregano, thyme, and rosemary. That'll all go really well with the chicken. Celery, carrots. Kerrygold Irish butter. You can't go around with Kerrygold. I'm going to use a bay leaf or two, peppercorns, salt. Let's get right into this. I'm going to prep the chicken. So what I did is I took the chicken and placed it over the sink, cut off the plastic. This way the the juice, which can be contaminant, I doesn't go anywhere except down the drain. Then I washed it inside and out, cold water, and then I took a paper towel, patted it down. I have a paper towel inside, which I'll remove shortly, just to get the inside water off. You always want to wash down the bird because there may be excess blood in there or something that doesn't belong to you, like a feather or whatever. You always try to make a clean product. A little excess skin that I do not need. If you do any chicken work, these, these shears are a great thing. Uh, it's so much easier and safer than a knife. And I can actually cut this bird in half with this knife if I wanted to. A little more fat. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is create a pocket so I can put some butter underneath the skin. So I'm going to take a flat spatula and just put it under the skin. It's very easy to do. You don't want to do it with a knife. You don't want to tear the skin. Just like that. Okay, the next thing to do is put some butter under the skin. This is about a half, half tablespoon of butter. Now that butter will melt down, of course, and make the chicken really nice and moist. You can see the butter. Okay, paper towel out. Now I'm getting ready to season the bird. I have some fresh rosemary here. Rosemary goes 
really well with chicken and right now I'm just pulling the leaves off the stems don't want the stems and I'm putting them in a spice grinder now you don't have to use rosemary if you don't like it this video is more about the technique than it is the recipe but I do suggest using the fresh herbs instead of the dried ones there's, there's so, much, so much difference so much better and I use the dry ones when I'm doing a soup or a stew this way they can reconstitute I have some peppercorns probably about a teaspoon of peppercorns right in there I'm gonna grind these up over grind it so that it's a, a powder and this is basically what I'm going for here you can still see some of the leaves that's fine uh, it smells so so good already Okay, I'm getting ready to season the bird, and that's very important. Seasoning is very important. Have a little olive oil here. Now this is how I like to season my birds. I do it in a shallow tray. This way the cleanup is just a lot easier. You don't have to have the spices going all over the countertop and the floor and all that. Now the idea is to season it completely under the wings, under the legs, everywhere. You want to have a nice bite of spice no matter where you bite into. So I have some olive oil here. I'm going to wrap that up. This will make the skin nice and crispy. And it also offers a good platform for the spices they won't fall off a good amount of salt a lot of the salt will fall off during the process so I've never over salted a bird same thing olive oil trying to get everywhere Fresh herb just sm smells so good, boy. Salt. Okay. This bird is ready to go into the oven and let me show you how to set that up. Okay my fellow foodies, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is create a bed for the chicken to rest on. I don't want to put the chicken directly into the pot because what will happen is as it cooks the juices will come out and then it actually you actually end up boiling the bottom of the chicken so they make racks you can put in here circular racks made out of metal you can put in here 
but I'm just going to go ahead and make my own bed right now. So how I'm going to do that, take some celery, just like that. I'm going to take three carrots and I'm going to cut the tops off of them. I didn't bother to wash, I'm sorry, I did wash them but I didn't peel them. Now, not only does this prevent the bird from boiling on the bottom, this is going to create a really nice stock which you can make a gravy from. So it serves two purposes really. Alright, throw in a couple of bay leaves. I have three little pieces of garlic here. I'm going to put some thyme in the bottom and some fresh oregano. There you go. Now I can put the bird in. One last thing to do. The onion. Just going to cut the tops and bottoms off. Okay, all these vegetables are sacrificial. In other words, they're going to be thrown out. I just want to get the, the flavor from the vegetables into the pot. It's pretty much the same thing as when you make a, a soup, a stock. You use these vegetables, and pretty much the same vegetables, combine it with water and then strain it all out. So this way you get the, the flavorings of the vegetables. Okay, uh, I think I misled you earlier. I said it was a two and a quarter pound. It's not two and a quarter pound. It's four and a quarter pound. And at 20 minutes a pound this will cook in 85 minutes. That's the standard rate for cooking birds, 20 minutes per pound. And the last 10 minutes or so, I'm going to take the cover off, and this way the, the skin will be nice and crispy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and preheat the oven and put the bird in. Okay, folks. 350 roast mode, 109 minutes, and that's when I'll take the lid off. I gotta get this into the oven now. Today's Super Bowl Sunday, so I'm gonna go home soon. Um, anyone else cheering for Tom Brady? I am. I'm from Massachusetts. I don't think he would like my style of cooking though. He doesn't like nightshades. Tomatoes, peppers, all the stuff I love. Anyway. This is the bird at one hour. The temperature, internal temperature is 125 degrees. I want to get it up to 165. So I'm going to put it back in the oven uncovered so I want to make that skin nice and crispy. Okay folks uh, it's been an hour and 20 minutes actually took a little longer than I thought it would. It's at 160 degrees right now I was going for 165 let me try this side here
Okay, this is telling me 167. This bird is cooked. I'm going to take it out of the Dutch oven so it doesn't cook any further and place it on a sheet tray. It'll actually still keep cooking, but I don't want to keep it in that hot caveat, hot cast iron pot. Okay, I'm going to transfer the bird from the pot to a tray, and this is the best way to do it. You don't want to pick it up by the legs because it'll fall apart. I have a set of tongs here. I don't want to do this though. I don't want to put the tongue on top of the bird because when I can when I lift it, guarantee you will tear off that skin. Now of course that won't affect the taste, but you want to make it look good. Presentation is very important when it comes to food. So I'm putting it underneath the bird. Voila. Now if you look inside the pot, there is a whole bunch of liquid in here. These are au jus, natural liquid. Now what I'm going to do is dump all these vegetables and then strain the fluid through a strainer into a cup and that's going to make a beautiful stock. Let's take a look at that juice that came out of the chicken. Uh, that is a cup, a little less than a cup. Now if you look closely right here, there's a yellow line, a yellow layer I should say, and that is the, the chicken fat. It's rising to the surface and below it will be the stock and that has all the flavors of all those vegetables, all those beautiful vegetables, the onions, celery, all the herbs, that's all in there and what I'm going to do is put it in the fridge after it cools down a little and then tomorrow I'll scrape off the top that's the grease that comes off very easily and that's actually a natural grease so that schmaltz as they say in German it's a natural grease you can use that to fry your eggs in or whatever it's very good stuff. Okay, I'm going to cut this bird open, take a look at it. I'm um, not going to do it quite yet. I'm going to let it rest. You never cut into a hot bird, or any hot protein for that matter.